Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It is Wednesday. You know what happens on Wednesdays? Name that riff. Early 80s hard rock and metal edition again for the final time. Uh, well, maybe not final. Down the road I'll probably do volume two and volume three of eight early 80s hard rock and metal. Cause there's, there's a lot of it, just saying. Anyway, today it's an interesting one and I'm gonna actually show you some of the settings because this particular guitar player's rig is unique among metal players. So, Yes, this uh, particular preset uses an interesting combination of things to achieve this heavy sound. Not the norm for most metal guitar players, and uh, especially from this time period, early 80s. Um, you might see people doing it today because, you know, overdrive pedals have advanced to the point where, you know, like for to me, the radial hot British sounds as good as most, you know, most amps crunch channel. But back in 1981 or 80 when this record came out or whenever that was, it was eight, between 80 and 82, I forget. And, uh, uh, you know, there weren't a lot of pedals out there for this kind of thing. And the ones that were out there, I didn't think they sounded that great. But, you know, this guy had a unique sound. So let's go over to the Helix and I'll show you what's what with the sound. Okay, well, here's what's going on with this guy's uh, this guy's rig, he always used a Fender Twin and an overdrive pedal. So it was a pretty unique sound and I saw him live and it was a really big sound because he had a pair of uh, twins with this overdrive pedal run into them and it was a it was an overdrive pedal that I don't think that uh, Helix is ever going to, uh, or sorry, Line 6 is ever going to uh, model. It was an Arion overdrive pedal so it's like they made those in the early 80s and I think they ran up, went out of business by the late 80s I think and uh, it was a unique sound and I went through all of the overdrive pedals and the vermin distortion which is like a rat pedal was the closest to it so I'm using mail order twin and uh, the uh, an interesting thing that I learned last night at the uh, clinic was to uh, crank up the sag and uh, and you get a more spongy sound and uh, I was using it sparingly, but now I'm gonna, you know, get way up there, 8.5 to 10 on some presets. Now this guy's uh, thing is, you know, just three quarter cranked rat pedal into the mail order twin, and you get this sound. Uh, a couple of IRs and some big reverb. So, wanna hit? Here it goes. There you go, everybody. Now, if you can be the first to comment correctly the artist and title, put it in the comments, post it, you'll win this preset. Lucky you. And uh, I just wanted to say that I had a really great time last night at the uh, Tone Made Pro Clinic here in Austin, uh, at the North Guitar Center with uh, Tony Campanovo. It was, it was really entertaining and a good time. And uh, man, he had, he had some balls on him to make a Stevie Ray Vaughan joke oh, in Austin. But I, I thought it was pretty funny. So, and it sort of brought a little bit of a hush over the group. It's like, they're not gonna laugh, but they're not gonna stone him either. So, ah, everybody got away alive. And it was a good time, I learned some valuable stuff and I'm utilizing some of it in the uh, preset today. I learned some things about the, uh, uh, about the SAG and the, uh, the bias, but not the bias X. Nobody knows anything about the bias X. So, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, but I'm going to be going down to the South by Southwest extravaganza in the downtown uh, area. So uh, I worked on my presets yesterday and today, and they're all finished. I've got all 15 uh, of the early 80s hard rock and metal presets done. I just need to take it to rehearsal room on Saturday, even out the levels, 
then they'll be available to purchase on Sunday or for delivery on Sunday. You can pre-order them, go down into the uh, description and there's a link, you can pre-order these presets. $15 for 15 presets. Good times. What more could you ask for? Nothing. So, I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, rock on.